Hey guys, this is Locke. My Gloria has enough shards to get to 5 stars, but I wanted to see what the difference in damage was between 4 and 5 stars. So, you know, maybe you can decide if you actually want to get her to 5 stars or not, or if somebody else should be a priority. So, uh, let's just, I'm going to do two different tests, one without anyone else buffing her damage and one with. So, um, let me just get into position here, give me a couple of turns. Oops. At the beginning of the second turn, I will be able to do this test. So just give me a few seconds and I'm just showing you what I'm doing so that you can make sure I'm repeating the exact same things on the next turn. Um, she's going to do nothing and she's also going to do nothing for this turn. Okay. So we can see that the normal damage she does is 3,910, okay? So that's like, you know, just the normal damage, and that's 130% modifier. So we will try this again, but this time we will put all the debuffs and buffs on, on the boss and so on, and we will test that. So this is going to do physical, uh, physical defense down and also increase her attack, Gloria's attack by 15% because she has this thing. And Gloria, as you can see, has an extra 15% attack. With her, I'm going to apply vulnerability. So... Okay, there we go. And so the boss should hopefully have gotten the vulnerability. Yeah, okay. Perfect. I can just keep it here. And finally, we are also going to use um, Cocoa to increase the damage. So there we go. So now the attack is 9,545. Um, if we use this Warhorn on the boss, the damage goes up to 19,209. Okay, great. I'm actually going to screenshot it as well, just so I remember. Um, and then now I'm going to get her to five star and see how all these numbers change. So 3,910, 9,000 something, and then 19,000 something. So let's see how much that uh, extra 50% defense, because that's the main thing, right? I mean, she also gets some additional stats as well, but the main thing is she ignores 50% defense of the target when she gets to five stars. So let's see how that will improve her. And as I said, I mean, she also gets some other stats as well, but, um, but this is probably the main thing that we want to focus on. So we're going to go back, start again, and repeat the same exercise again. I'm going to do the exact same moves that I did last time to see what the difference is. Go there, do nothing, go there, do that. She moved over here. Okay, so this time we're doing nothing with everyone else. And just using Gloria's normal attack. So this goes up. Wow. So from 3,900 something to 5,700 something, that is quite a difference. But I suspect the difference is going to be much less once you start, um, you know, decreasing his defense. But let's see. I, I was actually pleasantly surprised by how much that changed. I, I was not expecting that. Okay. So let's see. So that gives you a uh, defense break. Move him over here. Move, um, actually, I guess she doesn't even need that. She can just use this. But I, I want to do the same things I did last time to not make it any different. So she went over here last time, and she did that. OK, that would give the vulnerable three debuff to the boss. Um, she'll wait here. And then I use this guy to give Cocoa 
the damage buff. Okay, so last time it was 9,500, I believe. Let's check. 11,373. Okay, I mean, it is still a, an increase of like 20%. So that's that's pretty good. I'm actually really surprised by the difference this makes. Okay, last time this was 19,000. Now it is 21,000. So the, the, the break, I mean, it seems about the same, like 2,000, right? So the higher the damage, the less percentage-wise it becomes. Like before, um, 9,000 became 11,000. So that's like a 20% increase, right? Uh, but then now 19,000 becomes 21,000, so it's like a 10% increase. But still, like it's, this, it is quite a huge difference, in, in my opinion. The biggest jump was when it was like completely unbuffed, right? Like 3,900 became 5,700. That's a huge difference. So that's... Um, that's that's it that's that <laughs> i mean I, I didn't want to actually attack the boss because uh then i might have crits then i have to redo this over and over to make sure i get the same crit or non-crit damage uh but i think just like you know um showing you what the calculation is that way i think should give you a good idea of how much damage to ex expect from this so uh, honestly like i am really surprised i did not think it would be that high of a difference uh, mostly because I feel like, I mean, from other tests that I've done, I feel like defense and the defense break is not as important or good as some of the other stuff like attack increase or damage increase or damage reduction. I think those are way more impactful. So I was really surprised by the, um, by, by this, like ignores 50% defense of the target, especially, you know, once you have already debuffed the target, because you're already using a lot of, um, debuffs on the target, on the bosses and, and whatever, to bring their defense down already, right? So whatever is remaining, you're taking 50% off of that. To me, I did not think it was that impactful, but this is really nice. I am um, very ple pleasantly surprised. Anyway, that's it for this video. It's a very short video, very quick thing. I just wanted to um, show you what the difference was. So if you are struggling and you're trying to figure out if you should get her to five stars or leave her at some other stars, um what what you can do what do i suggest i i mean if you don't want to take her to five star i would suggest leaving her at uh three stars and the reason i suggest that is because at three stars she gets an in increased movement of two and for a melee unit like her like i mean kind of melee she can also kind of throw the flag and she has a little bit of aoe with the circle attacks so that's like two range anyway for a unit like her i think movement is really important it really helps her to get around better and uh, you know, increases your threat potential and, and so on. So I, I really suggest at least getting her to three stars. Um, so I'd, I would have probably stopped at three stars, except for the fact that she was one of my first units I pulled. So I've been um, increasing, you know, putting her in the memory farm since day one, almost, I think. So uh, because of that, she, you know, she naturally had like four and a half, five, four and a half stars when I already got August, so I might as well finish her first, right? So that was the reason why I kept farming her until five stars. And honestly, I'm 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 really happy with it. I was really happy with the extra amount of damage she can do at five stars with this. Um, so hopefully it gives you an idea of uh, what to expect, if it's worth it or not, where in your list of priorities she should be. That's it for this video. I will see you guys next time. Take care now.